colleges are welcoming students back to class, but some are shutting down as quickly as they reopen as positive cases of the coronavirus are reported. To keep that from happening around here, SUNY schools are cracking down. Two SUNY schools suspended students and student organizations for breaking COVID rules. The message, take the pandemic seriously or else. We have already suspended dozens of our students for violating codes of conduct. We have to instill in people that it's not just your actions. Your actions have consequences on everyone else. And that was the SUNY Chancellor, and his words no doubt apply to students at SUNY Geneseo, where nine students and three student groups have been suspended now for breaking COVID-19 rules. Kayla Green joins us from Geneseo right now. Kayla, the uh, Vice President of Student Affairs at SUNY Geneseo also spoke today. What did he have to say? Maureen, officials here say that when they received the police reports about students not following masking and social distancing guidelines, they knew they had to move quickly. They say the suspension of just the few students and three organizations sends a strong message to the rest of the campus community that they are taking this seriously. SUNY Geneseo suspended three Greek organizations and nine students after receiving reports from the Geneseo Village Police. So they'll send reports to us if, uh, if it involves college students from Geneseo. And so in reviewing some of those reports, we found that there were instances that the uh, Village Police responded to off-campus social events or parties where students were not following uh, guidelines with wearing masks or social distancing. Vice President for Student and Campus Life, Michael Taberski, says students were warned about the consequences of violating COVID-19 protocols. He says the three organizations were suspended due to some level of involvement by members or if an event was hosted at one of their houses. The level of involvement is still being investigated. He says while this is only nine students out of more than 5,000 on campus, the college is taking every situation very seriously. We would hope that other students would see both the seriousness of interacting with police and uh, getting a letter from the vice president saying you're intermittently suspended sends a strong message that um, we take the safety and security of our, of our campus very seriously. SUNY Oneonta recently switched to remote learning for two weeks after more than 100 students tested positive for COVID-19. SUNY Chancellor Jim Malatris says to prevent this from happening again or at other campuses, everyone has to do their part. Our students have to do their part by complying with the code of conduct and where they are violating that code of conduct, not that we want to rain on their parade and we don't want them to socialize, but you can see how quickly this virus spreads. Those student suspensions are pending a code of conduct review, and SUNY Geneseo has only had one COVID-19 case, which they found out about due to mandatory testing before classes began. That student was living off campus and has since moved out of the community until they are cleared to come back. Live in Geneseo, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, thank you, Kayla. Today, the New York State Department of Health approved SUNY Upstate Medical's saliva test. It can test up to 25 students at a time and analyze 15,000 samples per day.